<laughs> there we are. All nice and secure. Oh? Well, well, well. Look who decided to join us. How was your sleep, beautiful? I hope it wasn't too bumpy. I patted the boot as best I could. I didn't see any bruises when I changed your clothes. Huh? Where are you? Oh, my stupid, stupid toy. Did you already forget? This is your new home. What do you think of it? The stains? Oh, right. Those are there as your reminder. Those stains are the blood of my last toy. She decided that she didn't want to play anymore. And what's the point of a toy if it won't play? So, I did what any reasonable person would do in that situation. Broke her down and threw her away. If you refuse to play, that will be what happens to you as well. And... I'd really hate for that. You're so pretty, and it was such a bitch to get a hold of you. I'd rather not have to do it again for a while. But never forget, I am more than willing to do so if it is necessary. Basically, it boils down to whether or not you think that you can be a good girl for me. Do you think? You can be a good girl? Good, good, that's what I like to hear. God, I can't get over how stunning you looked bolted down in that collar. So helpless and alone. Completely unable to defend yourself from me. The perfect way to keep a pet. No chance of escape. Nice and sealed inside your little box. And you're never going to leave it, are you? <laughs> That's right. See, you learn so fast. You might not be very smart, but you seem to at least have a good understanding of what's going on. I'll take that. <laughs> what am I going to do to you? Are you sure you want the answer to that? Because... I can already warn you, you aren't going to enjoy it. For quite a while, actually. It takes an annoyingly long amount of time to break a person's mind and turn them into the perfect slave. But once you do, oh, the bliss. We'll have so much fun together. And you'll finally enjoy it. After all... Playtime with me will be the only thing you have to look forward to in your pathetic future. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh, that horrified look. It's so precious. I wish I had my phone right now. I'd love to make it into my lock screen. The way your eyes shimmer slightly because of the tears forming in the corner of them. The way you look up at me as if you have no hope. That. That is the perfect face for my toy to be making. I can tell I'm going to enjoy you. Oh yeah? And why is that? <laughs> Ah, oh, you poor, sweet, naive soul. You really think the police will find you? Let me tell you something. You aren't the first. And you won't be the last if you decide not to behave. <laughs> I have been doing this for years, sweetheart. The police in this city are about as useful as a fucking chocolate teapot. Putting so much hope into them is a bad idea. 
Though, I suppose making you accept that fact might break you a little faster. I don't leave evidence behind my slave. I am good, very good at what I do. Especially when I reduce the crime scene to a pile of ash. Honestly, you should have seen it. It went up like a box of kindling. Don't look so sad. Sure, this place might not be as glamorous as your last one, but you're not alone in this home. You have me. And that's ten times better, isn't it? Isn't it? Ah, that's so sweet of you to say. You're really gonna make me happy. Why does your back hurt? Oh, apologies. I forgot to mention. I really, really like marking my toys. So, while you were sleeping, I may or may not have carved a reminder of me into you. Here, here. This mirror should help you see. <laughs> Don't you love it? Isn't it beautiful? Hey now, that's not very nice. No need for name calling. Calm down. Calm down. You forced my hands. I told you to calm the fuck down! What in that tiny, little pathetic brain made you think you could talk to me like that? Did you already forget what situation you're in? I am your owner and you are my slave. You will hold your tongue and never speak to me again like that. Or else I'll find a way to rip it out. Am I understood? That threat goes for glaring too. While your eyes are gorgeous, if you're just going to scowl at me like that, I'll remove them. I have a friend who makes very good glass eyes. Not as good as the original, obviously, but I don't mind. I can still play with you, even if you are missing your tongue and eyes. So are you going to listen to my advice? <laughs> That's definitely the right choice. But I still have to punish you for what you did. Arguments against my authority will not be tolerated. Stand up. Let's see how many hits of this belt are needed to learn this lesson. I said stand the fuck up. It isn't an option. I'm being generous by using the belt. Want me to get something sharper? That's what I thought. Now stand there. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> What's the matter? Falling to your knees already? Is this really all your frail body can take? I guess I'll have to train up your pain tolerance too. But that's okay. That's the fun part. Now, have we learned our lesson? Are we going to apologize? Or am I going to need some more swings of this belt? No? <laughs> good girl, good girl. This is what I like to see. If you can learn from your mistakes, you can be trained. Now, I'm going to have to go and take care of a few things in town. Still got a couple pieces of trash to take care of, if you know what I mean. But I'll be back to play with you as soon as I can. Until I'm back, though, 
you better behave. If I see even a single scratch from you trying to get out of your restraints, it won't be five belt hits you have to endure. It'll be fifty. Enjoy your stay. I know I will. <laughs>